It's DSP's best games that you didn't play this year. My 10 personal picks of exceptional games that you probably didn't hear about. Number 4, State of Decay. Uh oh, here come the internet perfectionists. The Dark Side Phil, State of Decay was one of the best selling games on Xbox Live this summer. How dare you say that it's a game that a lot of people didn't play? Well, the bottom line is this I challenge you to ask five of your personal friends if they've ever heard of State of Decay. And if one of them even says yes, I'd be surprised. This is the problem with games that have digital distribution exclusively and absolutely no advertising budget. I knew nothing about State of Decay until a few of my viewers asked me if I were going to play it, and then of course when I tried it out, I absolutely loved it. State of Decay is a unique combination of an open world exploration game similar to something, say like Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, combined with zombie gameplay. What would really happen in a zombie apocalypse? You'd probably have survivors banding together in different groups, trying to hunker down in different locations and protect them from the zombies, trying to actually train all of the people who are survivors to be experts at a certain thing. They'd probably be constantly leveling up their facility, trying to figure out how to forf uh, fortify its defenses, have certain areas growing food and stuff. So the game is a unique combination of combat, simulation, and exploration. It really works and it's really well done there's a few game bugs but not too many you'd be surprised for an open world game you maybe think the game would be a lot more buggy and it's not now it's not just a simulation in an open world roamer it also does have a story that it follows and you can just choose to spend as much time as you want wandering around doing side quests trying to rescue people and find new survivors or you can just venture forth and go straight through the campaign and blow through the game. It's completely up to you. But State of Decay has a ridiculous amount of content. We're talking 10 to 15 hours of gameplay for a rather inexpensive indie game. That's pretty damn good. So if you like zombie survival horror, if you like open world games, if you'd like to see a simulation of what it could possibly be like if this were ever to really happen, this is the game for you. And I actually think that this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, indie game on the list this year because it was done so well and it could have been so horribly wrong but it went so right state of decay even if your friends have played it and you haven't it's worth a look you got to check it out a great game that probably not a lot of people outside of those who are all over xbox live every day know about coming up next a title that was a spin-off to a formerly popular franchise really fell under the radar this year but was really good. Definitely check it out. 